want to know how I'm doing. Yeah, great. I just came from church, so this is fine. All right. It's hot outside. The weather is killing, but uh, yeah, this is Michigan. It's got unpredictable weather. So I did some video shoot. I believe it was fun, but I had a uh, I bought wait I bought a new product that uh, I was trying out, but it's frustrating. And guess what? I left it outside, so I'll be right back. Okay. I can find it. It's not this. This is just a power supply that I'm supposed to be using. Anyway, I shoot with a uh, Canon D6D. Uh, pretty nice solid camera, but not something that I would say it for rush for and buy, even though I shoot with it, because uh, I guess I like it, but if I can have some upgrade, I would. And I'm not sure if I'm going with Canon 6D back right here. And I was thinking to upgrade to 6D Mark II, but a lot of people say it's a disappointment. So I don't know what to do with it. I'm, I'm, I'm used to shoot with Canon. So Canon has been my brand for a while now. Even when I was shooting with it, point and shoot, except right now I'm, rec I'm recording on a Sony A6000 of which I uh, also posted it on eBay to sell it because I really don't enjoy the image quality out of it. I like the video though. The video has been fun and most of my videos I've shot, I've shot with S6000. So um, pretty soon I'll sell it. I don't know, I was thinking to replace it with uh, Fujifilm or Sony. Uh, oh, actually not Sony. I was thinking to replace it with the Panasonic GH5 and uh, I don't know people say they're pretty good but again I look at the price tag because I have a limited budget so I'm working with that too but let me keep looking for this thing because it was a total disappointment uh, I bought sound recorder but it was a total disappointment at least for the first time user um, I still need to learn it. Am I returning it? Probably not. Okay, I found it. Zoom H4N Pro. So I just bought this thing yesterday. Now, uh, the first disappointment was the batteries. I have, uh, I use lithium batteries. I don't have them with me, but I use lithium batteries uh, for charging like my uh, flash. I stick with Canons. Canons are, uh, I don't know. I've only used Canons, so anything I have is Canon 600D XRT. So, anywho, I use these batteries for shooting. So I have a couple uh, lithium rechargeable batteries staying around in the house. And so I decided to use them on my uh, recorder, sound recorder. So, inner loops. All right, I decided to use them for my recorder, but they were dying so fast. Maybe because I didn't charge them, or maybe this thing drains the battery so fast, or it's just not compatible with the batteries. That could be the reason. I don't know why. Well, normally when I use them on my flash, they take too long to drain. So now the thing is, I did uh, I, when I bought it, I didn't have the menu. I just picked it up because that's the only one he had, and I really, really, really needed it because uh, I was recording some kids in your church. So I didn't. I wanted some quality sound, so I had to buy it. But I um. I just wanted to plug the cables that goes up in here so that I can record direct from uh, a mixer 
to here instead of recording through here because uh, uh, I didn't want to pick up uh, like uh, people in the church maybe I could pick them up here too but I think it would be minimal if I use the connections up down here so the thing is I um I put in the batteries the batteries went dead oh guess what I checked the tutorial now YouTube some guy said hey you can use the external power if you have one of these so I do have one of these it's a uh, anchor something like that uh, which is uh, about I don't know it's got three point old uh, connections here which one of the fastest connections and then uh, it's got like uh, 10,000 milliamps. Milliamps? No, 10,000. Yeah, something like that. Anywho, so I plugged in. This thing turns on. So as you plug in, there are no batteries, as you can see. I just took them out. And by the way, it's not a product to review because uh, it's just my experience for today, which sucked. So it turns on, it asks for storage and the audio if. So I try the storage. I'm like, uh, storage, he wants me to yeah, ask if I need to connect to a computer. Hopefully my camera is zooming in because I don't have a flip out screen on my camera. So I don't have a, a computer. So guess what? I decided to move back. You hit the menu. So when you hit the menu, it moves back. So I went to, I scroll down to audio if. So he asked for all those connections and then uh, I put it on uh, the frequency I've picked the highest, which is uh, uh, 48 kilohertz. And then I hit, uh, I came down here saying, please wait. Remember, there are still no batteries. I'm just using the external power. So, um, it's taking too long, still thinking. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Now it's a recording. According, if you look at the channel right here, you can see that the mics are recording, but where is the sound going? What I thought was it was going straight to the computer. But remember, I'm not using a computer. I am using a, an external power charge. So I, I, um, Went back to menus, trying to figure out how I can record to the devices because I got a memory in there. I can't find anywhere because even if 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 even if I go back here, you see these mics are picking up a sound, but if I hit the record button, I can get nothing. So the thing is, um, I'm frustrated. I mean, I should use batteries, but in case that uh, something like that happens where I need to have uh, an external power, is there a way I can get around it so that I can be able to code on devices instead of an external memory because in this case situations I had to have to plug it on a, uh, audio coming in from the mixer but I didn't have uh, a computer to plug it on so um, just let me know because I need this thing to work if there's a way I can use it with the external power because I get more juice out of this than compared to the batteries so uh, please let me know.
Uh, leave a comment. Thank you.